So basically, every arcade game has some kind of score. You will get it by collecting coins, clearing the whole map, or by surviving the longest time. In this video, I'll show you how to count the score in your game, how to keep the highest score of the player, and also how to create a nice UI for that. Let's go! So, I've created a very simple level using three assets. When I play it, you can see that our character can collect diamonds, but you can't see any score at the top, so let's fix that. We will start by creating a simple UI with our score counter. Right-click in the hierarchy and select UI Text. That will create for us an event system that is needed for any UI buttons, canvas that is drawn on the top of our game, and the text itself. Great! To preview how it will look on the screen, double-click on the canvas. This white line represents the borders of our screen, and in fact, if we go to the game window, you can see our text in the same position. Now, let's put the text at the top of the screen. To do that, make sure you have a rec tool selected and move our text to the top. To make sure it will be stick to the top of the screen no matter what resolution is active, click on this Anchor Presets button and select Top Center. As you can see, after that change, everything is placed correctly. Now, let's look at the text itself. For now, I will give it an example value, like 10 points. Then, time for the font. Please don't use Arial. You can easily import other fonts to Unity. Simply open Google Fonts website, choose the one you like, and click Download Family. Font downloaded like this, simply drag to the Unity Assets folder, and it should be immediately selectable here in the font menu. Next, font size. Let's say 18. Alignment, center, middle, and the blue color, for example. As you can see, the score text already looks great. Let's quickly duplicate it, move it a bit down, and this time set the value to high score 20. This one doesn't need to be as big, so I'll change its size to 8 and the color to a bit darker blue. Looks perfect. Time for some coding. First click on the canvas, add component and create a new script called Score Manager. Open it. Here we'll need to link our UI text, but before we can do that, let's add at the top Unity UI dependency. Type using Unity Engine.UI. Then here at the top of the class, type public text score text and public text high score text. We'll also need to add two variables int score equals zero and int high score equals also zero. All of that to keep track of the current points. Then here in the start method, we like to reset the counter. So type score text that text equals score that to string plus points. For the high score text, it will be simply high score that text equals high score colon plus high score dot to string. Now save the script and in Unity attach both text to the corresponding fields by simply dragging them from the hierarchy. Run the game and you can see that points and high score text are resetted. But still, if our character jumps on the diamonds, they simply disappear without giving us any points. Let's fix that. Here on the right, I have a method that is triggered when the player collides with the diamond. Our goal is to send a message to the score manager and add some points. Let's set it up. In the score manager, I'll create a new method. Let's type public void add point. Open brackets. Here we need to do two actions. First, let's change our score by one. Type score 
plus equals 1. After that, we need to update the UI by simply copying that line here. The next challenge will be to trigger that method from the diamond script. To do that, we need to create an instance that would basically allow us to access methods from the score manager in any script. In the score manager, at the very top, type public static score manager instance. Then let's create an awake method. Void awake open brackets and here type instance equals this. That means that at the very start of our game, even before the start method, we'll set an instance of this manager. That way, here in the on player enter, we can type score manager that instance that add point. Okay, time to test everything out. Save both scripts, go back to Unity and press play. Now, when our character will get the diamond, we'll see one point added. The last thing we're missing is saving the high score. I would suggest using a player preps, a built-in way to store data for your game. Here in the add point method, we'll type player preps dot set int and pass in the name of our int. Let's call it simply high score. And then the value, score variable. Just before that, we also need to create a simple if statement. If high score is smaller than score, then run our player preps method. Without that, even the lower scores would be saved as a high score. Then here in the start method, just before setting up the text, type high score equals player preps dot get int and request the variable of the same name, in my case, high score. You can also specify here the default value if nothing has been saved yet. So type just zero. That's it. When we'll go back to Unity, press play, get some diamonds and die, you can see that the high score is saved. What's more, even if I would restart the game, you can see that the score is preserved. If you're interested in creating a simple online leaderboard for your game, check out this video and don't forget to subscribe to CocoCode for more Unity tutorials. See you soon!